My name is David Bannon. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Headwall Photonics based in Massachusetts. We're happy to be at the SPIE Defense and Security Conference. And Headwall is a rather unique company. We've got some rather unique capabilities. It's our goal and it's our mission to be the world's best data capture company out there. And we do this through a, a broad range of products. These products include single point imager, single point spectrometers, multi-channel spectrometers, and an array of hyperspectral imagers and Raman imagers. And to my left here, you see uh, a, what seems to be a very popular UAV these days, which is a multi-rotor copter. And if you notice on the bottom, at the gimbal, one of Headwall's flagship products is the Nano Hyperspec Sensor. And this is truly a very innovative product in that, um, as you can see within the gimbal, the Nano Hyperspec is, is mounted there. Um, this is a sensor. Uh, a true high performance hyperspectral sensor that has been integrated with a data processing engine as well as a storage assembly. Um, the real innovation here is Headwall's ability to shrink that package size down to reduce the size of the sensor without sacrificing any performance and while at the same time putting an embedded processing computer and storage element in there. It's a, it's a very powerful platform that has been specifically designed for the hand launched UAV and multi-rotor market. A lot of our expertise and experience has spun out of the military and defense environment and we've always believed it takes 10 or 15 years for military technologies to roll into the commercial world and we're right at that point now. It was approximately 12 years ago when headwall sensors were first placed on uh, Predator UAV for real-time target detection. And over that time, headwall has built a very significant business in the remote sensing industry as well. We recently announced a press release with a large Massachusetts company uh, by the name of Ocean Spray. And if you sit down at Thanksgiving dinner or if you, you throw a bag of craisins in your lunch, you're familiar with the Ocean Spray uh, logo and, and company. Um, Ocean Spray is just an inherent part of Massachusetts of what we do from a specialty crop perspective. I think it might even be the state fruit of Massachusetts. Ocean Spray had a rather interesting problem in that for a period of time in October, six to eight weeks, beginning of November, what Ocean Spray does is they take these trucks full of 40,000 pounds of, of raw cranberries and they bring them into their receiving stations. And what they need to do from a process perspective there is decide based on the quality of the berry how they're going to direct these, these products to their uh, respective product lines for processing. And the headwall sensors are utilized uh, to measure varying characteristics of that incoming load so that Ocean Spray can make a better decision as to do these, does this load go to a juice line, does it go to a cranberry sauce line, does it go to a, a craisin line. So it has very tangible benefit to how they process their fruit um, throughout the whole year. And it's been a very successful project with them. Uh, there's a lot of applications that are very similar to the ocean spray, uh, whether it's vineyards or, or whether it's soybean or cornfields. Um, agriculture remains a, a really important application area for the uh, hyperspectral imaging sensor technology. These uh, crop scientists are uh, bioengineering plant seeds for such thing as uh, drought resistance, disease resistance, shorter time to harvest. So Headwall's technology is being applied in these particular areas and we view this as almost as a process vision industry because if you go into these automated greenhouses what you find is that there's thousands and thousands of containers of plants and as they move along the conveyor system there's a feeding station, there's a watering station and then there's a hyperspectral scanning station that, that just calculates and consumes and acquires so much data on the growth of these plants that it helps these crop sciences to bioengineer these plants and these seeds. And as these seeds grow, they're moved out into the field obviously and Headwall has a, as I mentioned, Headwall has a, a rather unique set of remote sensing capabilities uh, that are designed specifically for precision agriculture applications. And this will help the farmers obviously to utilize uh, effectively resources such as water, pesticides, herbicides. And, uh, and from there, Headwall sensors are used for process inspection of product once those products are harvested. So spectral imaging is going to be a, just a tremendous part of the remote sensing industry through the deployment of unmanned aerial vehicles which are much more cost effective than they used to be years ago. Um, in terms of process vision industries, uh, 
I think the process vision industry is $6.4 billion, and uh, more than a quarter of that is on what they call smart cameras. And our hyperspectral imagers definitely are considered uh, an improvement uh, over these traditional machine vision cameras. So we view that market as billions of dollars potential for us. And that's where we're focusing a lot of our application and algorithm development to, to help uh, food processors in that regard. And then the third area of of uh, focus for Headwall is in the uh, health and biotech area. And again, that's another multi-billion dollar uh, addressable market. And spectral imaging is a relatively new technology. It's being deployed in these new application areas. So the potential is just enormous as researchers and end users find new ways to deploy hyperspectral imagers and Raman imagers uh, in these new environments. It, there's a requirement on the processing side to just be able to discern the information that you care about. And that's a, that's a tricky proposition. And a lot of Headwall's area uh, investment is in the area of software engineering and and data processing flows. And that's the, the key aspect of how we commercialize our technology. We focus so much of our time on the application development and the data processing side of things because out of this vast array of information that we generate with this hyperspectral data cube, customers are only interested in particular aspects of it. Is the disease present or is the disease not present? Um, is the food healthy or is it not healthy? Um, attributes such as those um, are what's required in a, in a food processing environment, which is basically a red light, green light decision area. So a lot of our time and effort is to focus on, on the data processing chain and taking that hyperspectral data information and making that meaningful for our customers.